you guys fired up? Yeah. I know my Home Depot ladies are fired up. Woo! Thanks for the hat, ladies. I really appreciate it. Um, but I'm going to have to get serious here for a second and talk about safety because there is an epidemic here on Habitat Builds, and every one of you is in danger. There's something that you can catch, and it's called Habitat Itis. Because once you do one Habitat build, I can guarantee you, you're gonna do 10, you're gonna do 20 more. Because the feeling that you get after roofing a house, after maybe giving the keys to a generous and deserving homeowner, there's nothing like it. Uh, now, I first contracted Habitat Itis when I went and built over in Thailand, and I was yeah. like, yeah, woo, Chiang Mai, girl. <laughs> I was lucky enough to build alongside our fearless leader, President Carter. Now it's true that President Carter, he was 88 then, he was the first one to get there, he was, the, he was the last one to leave, he was always building. But the thing is that when people were preventing him from building by bothering him, he got a little grumpy. And there was one day where this official came from uh, the local Thai government and he wanted to present President Carter with a ceremonial rose. It was like something out of The Bachelor. <laughs> and President Carter was busy hammering, and the guy tapped him on the shoulder, and President Carter turned, and he saw him with his, his pristine suit, and he just said, who are you? You're not even dirty. <laughs> so I'd just like to say thank you to all of you guys, because I see a lot of dirt around here. I see a lot of paint-stained fingers, and I can see that everybody here is working really hard. <laughs> And I'd also like to thank our veterans who came out today. And I'd like to thank all of you because, you know, it, it, it's a relatively easy thing to, to go up to a veteran and say thank you for your service, but it takes a little bit more effort to get in your car and, and drive down here or drive up here and, and perform a service alongside our veterans. And I, I'm just so grateful and so inspired by all of you and I want to issue each and every one of you a challenge today. You have gotten down here and I am so proud of all of you for doing that and we've got two more days so I'd like to challenge you to get on your Facebook, to get on your social media and I'd like to challenge you to have another friend come on, on tomorrow or Saturday or if they're not available maybe they can pony up some cash. You never know. <laughs> Habitat can always use money too. And you know what? If you think it would help to have some lady from TV in your picture, please come and grab me. I'd be uh, happy to take a photo with any of you all. Or maybe you're like, I've never heard of her. I've never seen her. Well, we've got an Olympic silver medalist here. We've got a reality star here. We've got a lot of celebs here. So I'm just going to go ahead and prostitute all of us out of here. Pictures. <laughs> Please spread the word and please get your friends and you know what, why don't we spread this disease called Habitat Itis. <laughs> now I don't think we've done a Habitat Cheer yet, have we? Okay, well, there's a traditional, it's, it's Oye, right? I have not done so, okay. There's your traditional Habitat Cheer, and don't worry, it's really simple. I'm just going to say Habitat and you're going to say Oye, and I'm not going to stop until I hear the appropriate level of enthusiasm, okay? And this ch is a direct challenge to you, Home Depot ladies. All right, so we all set. I say Habitat, you say Oye. All right, Habitat. Oye! Please. Please. We're going to try that again. Habitat. Oye! That's good, but I think we got one more in us. Habitat! Oye! 